the cake layers of our cake use five colors and I use a circle cutter to cut them out. I will go ahead and put the type of cutter this is in the description box. If you don't have one, it is more than okay. All you have to do is trace a one inch circle on this piece of paper and cut it out with a clay blade or an X-Acto knife. I have the dark aqua, medium aqua, two layers of the white cake, the pale pink, and the dark pink. I push and spin to even it out. Here I rolled out some white clay. I'm taking two cuts that are circles. And this clay you want to be about a third of the thickness of the actual cake um, layers. So all I do is now wrap the cake to create the frosting. From here you smooth the ends. Then you shape it once again until you have the cake exactly the way that you want it. If it's lost some of its shape, you can roll it on the table and you can flatten. You just want to make sure it's nice and smooth. We need TLS, which is translucent liquid Sculpey. From here I have Martha Stewart Clear Fine Glitter. I put some on my fingers rub my fingers together then I toss the cake in my fingers till I get a nice thin sticky layer all over my cake roll it back and forth flip it on its other side you want to center yourself directly over the cake and cut it straight in half then from here to get the most out of my cake, I cut each half into thirds. So you want to do this as carefully as possible, otherwise you'll end up having to throw away some of your slices. And if your cake is soft, then you may want to wait a little bit before doing the texturing. If it's had a chance to firm up, the cake texture will look better. The cake texture is created by doing little tiny circles. When you do little tiny circles, it teases some of the clay up and lifts it. And I just do tiny circles over and over and over itself. From here, you bake the cake. I take some of the translucent liquid Sculpey and I paint around the back edge. And then I make some drips. I'm going to take a little bit of pink glitter. And you don't want full coverage because when the blue and pink glitter mix because it's somewhat see-through it creates a section of purple glitter as well so there we go and you want to make sure that you do this after it bakes otherwise the blue and pink is going to stick to the clear glitter so this is what it looks like last step is making tiny jelly beans for the top I just made four so pinch off a tiny amount and roll so they're oblong and what's most important about this little part is that they're all relatively about the same size as each other I grab some translucent liquid Sculpey and put some 
in a four dots. So there we go. And you could form them how you want. You could put more on there. You don't have to just stop at four. And it looks like this. And I would glaze the jelly beans themselves in a high gloss glaze to make sure they keep the little jelly bean look. So that's it, and thank you so much.